All right, now Samsung introduced One UI 6.1 on the brand new Galaxy S24 series. And this One UI 6.1 based on Android 14 brings in some new features and changes on the lock screen. And these features are expected to come to the S23 series as well as S22 series and some of the mid ranges. So let's go ahead and take a look at all these changes and features we have got on the lock screen. As you can see, we have got some cool looking widgets here right below the date and time. I got some weather information here, the alarm information as well as the battery information. And these will appear on the always on display as well and we can customize these widgets let me press and hold on the lock screen here and i'll unlock the phone now here i will just tap on these widgets now you see we have got this buttons here to remove these widgets and at the bottom we have got this pop-up where uh, all these system widgets will show up now these widgets are quite limited we have got widgets for battery calendar clock reminder samsung health and weather now the weather, as you can see, we have got about seven widgets, which are pretty cool. We have got moon phase, precipitation, current temperature and weather, UV information, sunrise and sunset, etc. All these can be set on the lock screen. This is about the all new widgets. Now we cannot move these widgets alone on the lock screen. We'll have to move all the elements here, including the clock and these notification icons as well. As you can see, I can just tap on this and move them to the left or right. I cannot move it to the bottom. And I can also increase and decrease the size of this clock, but the widget size will remain the same. That's about the widget. Now let me tap on this clock. Now you see under this clock option, we have got a couple of new options here. Compared to the previous uh, One UI 6.0, we got a couple of additional clocks here as you can see. Now on the top, we have got all these fonts. These are the limited fonts we had in the past. And when you scroll to the end of it, you will see this three dots button. I can just tap on download fonts. It will directly take you to the Galaxy store where you can download all the premium and free fonts for your clock. This is just amazing. I did discuss uh, with you guys about this feature in the past. This was leaked on Twitter and we were expecting this to come on One UI 6.1. The next feature is with respect to the always on display. Now on One UI 6.1, we can not only set the clock, calendar and notifications as AOD. Now we also have an option to set the wallpaper as always on display. Along with the clock and calendar and notification information, we will have the wallpaper also dimmed in the background. Now to enable this, all you need to do is just go to the settings Tap on lock screen and AOD. Here you will see always on display option. Just tap on this. We have a toggle here, show lock screen wallpaper. When you enable this, you will see the wallpaper right here in the background and it's going to consume a little bit of battery. So it's up to you whether you want this or not, depending on your preference, you enable this. And if you notice here, we do not have clock style option here and they have also removed auto brightness toggle from always on display settings. Now these two options were available on the One UI 6.1 as you can see here, whereas on One UI 6.1, Samsung has removed these two options. I'm not really sure whether these are added in any other sections of the settings, but under always on display, we don't see these options. Next is the brand new interactive wallpapers that we have got on the Galaxy S24 series and these wallpapers may remain exclusive for the S24 series. This may not come to the previous iterations of the phone but I just want to show you guys these interactive wallpapers. These look just amazing. We've got a few options here. You can see this nice smooth animation and transition when you unlock the phone. It just seamlessly blends with the uh, home screen wallpaper when you unlock the phone. These are very very pleasing to the eyes and I hope there will be some way to download these wallpapers on the previous iterations. Let me find out. If at all there is any way I will keep you guys posted. The next thing is applying frames on the lock screen wallpapers. As you see, I'm selecting a portrait image of mine and the moment I select it, at the bottom you'll see frame and effect. Now let me just tap on frame. As you can see, we have got a few frame colors here. I can select the one I want. A portion of my portrait image will stick out of this frame, which looks pretty cool. And we also have an option to change the colors for these frames. And if you want to erase the background of your portrait image, you can do that as well, which is very interesting. Uh, we have got this erase background option here. Just tap on this to erase the background of your portrait image. Pretty cool options indeed for the lock screen wallpaper. Now this is not it. We also have something called photo ambient option. This is under creative section under wallpapers. We can select photo ambient options for the lock screen, which shows the weather effects on the lock screen wallpaper. This doesn't always work. It works best with the outdoor photos taken during the day. And it also depends on the weather conditions. If it's a pretty normal weather, it is not going to show anything on the screen. That is something to note here. These are some of the cool features and changes we have got on One UI 6.1 as far as the lock screen is concerned. Now, as soon as these features arrive on the S23 Ultra and other predecessors, I will make a video and uh, keep you posted guys so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informational thanks for watching my name is salian sunning off cheers bye bye